In this video, I will show you how to create an ASP.NET Web application using Visual Studio Code. So first, it is necessary to check that the .NET SDK is installed on your computer. So we can open the terminal or the command prompt. Then let's type .NET hyphen hyphen version. So here we can see that .NET is installed on my computer and this is the version that I have. If you don't have .NET, then it is necessary to download and install it. So here let's type .NET. Let's go to the first link. Then download. Then we can click on this button to download the installer of .NET 8. We can also click on this link to download the installer. And of course we have to save it. In my case I already installed the .NET SDK, so I will not install it again. So let's click on cancel. Then let's go to Visual Studio Code. And we need to install two extensions. So here let's type the name of the first extension which is C Sharp. So this is the extension that we need. It is from Microsoft and it provides the following features. So it has IntelliSense which provides the auto completion feature. So we need to install it and in my case it is already installed. Then we need the second extension which is called C Sharp extensions. So this is the extension that we need and this is the name of the developer. And it provides the following features, so it allows us to create new C Sharp classes. Then we need to install it, and in my case it is already installed. Now let's create a new folder for the new application. So let's click on open folder. I want to create a new folder in the documents folder. So here I already created a folder called VS Code Projects. Then here let's create a new folder. And let's call it web app one. Then let's open this folder. So for the moment this folder is empty and we need to create a new ASP.NET web application. So let's open the terminal. And here we can type .NET hyphen hyphen help. So here we can see that we can use the new command to create a new project. We can use run to build and run the project. And also we can use the watch command to restart the application after every modification. So now let's create a new project. So we need to use the new command. And here we have the common templates. So to create a new web application using Razor Pages, we can use the short name Web App or also we can use Razor. And to have the full list of the available templates, we can use .NET New then List. So here let's write .NET New and let's add List. And this is the full list of the available templates. So here we have Web App, we have the MVC template and also we have the web API. So now let's create a new web application using Razor Pages. So we can use this short name. So let's type .NET new then web app. Now the project has been created correctly and here we have new files and folders. So to run this application we have to type .NET run. So now the application is running correctly and it is available at this URL. So we can click on follow link. And we obtain this application. So we can update the title. So let's go to the pages folder. Then index.cshtml. And let's update the title. So here we can write welcome to our website. Let's save the file. And let's refresh the page. So here we don't have the new title because we need to restart the application. 
So to stop the application, we can click on Ctrl and C. And let's run it again. Let's go to this link again. So here we have the new title. So instead of restarting the application after every modification, we can use the watch command. So let's stop the application and let's use .NET Watch. Let's press enter. So now the application is running using the watch command. Let's update the title. So here let's write welcome to our new website. Let's save the file. And here we can see that the application has restarted. So here we can see that we have the new title. Let's stop the application. So another way to run the application is to create the configuration files of this application. Then let's click on run, then add configuration and let's select the .NET Core option. So this file has been created and you can see also that we have the VS Code folder that contains these two files. So now we can run this application by clicking on Run, then Run without debugging. So we have this alert because we are using the HTTPS protocol with a self-signed certificate. Let's click on Advanced then accept the risk and continue and you obtain this application let's update the title of this page let's save the file and to restart the application we can click on this button or also we can stop the application and run it again so let's click on the restart button And here we have the new title. Now let's create a new Razor page. So let's create it in the Pages folder. We can make a right click, then New C Sharp, then Razor page. Let's call it Contact. So this is the Razor page. It has the extension .cshtml. And this is the corresponding C Sharp class. So in this class, we don't need this field, so let's delete it. And also, we don't need the constructor, so let's delete it. Let's save the file and let's update the page. So let's go to contact.cshtml. Let's delete this statement. And let's delete this code. Then let's add the following HTML code. So here we will create a Bootstrap Pro that contains this column. Then here we have this title, so it is contact form. Then we have this form. So in this form we have the first label. And also we have this input field that allows us to provide the first name. We have this label for the last name. And this is the second input field. We have another label for the email address and this is the input field for the email address. And finally, we have this row that contains a label with a text message and we have this text area. And here we have the submit button, so it has the text submit. Let's save the file and let's add a link to this page in the navbar. So we have to go to the shared folder under pages. Let's open the layout file. So for the moment, we have this navbar that contains two items. So this is the home item and this is the privacy item. Let's copy this item and let's paste it here. Let's rename the text and let's write contact. Then let's provide the name of the razor page. So the razor page is the contact page that we created 
and here we have to provide the name of the razor page without the extension so we have to write contact let's save the file and let's restart the application so now we have the contact item let's click on it and we obtain this page